Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing reentry permits and certificates of entry. And these are two different things. And I, I know that this can be probably very frustrating for folks, but let's start. What is a reentry permit? Well, those who are in Thailand, let's say, for example, someone enters Thailand on a B visa, 90 day B visa. They get their work permit and then they get a visa extension. So they get an extension of status within the kingdom. That's generally issued for a 12 month period. Now that extension stamp in and of itself, it simply provides status of stay in the kingdom. But if one was to leave without obtaining a reentry permit, that status is extinguished at the point of departure. Or, and, and in order to forestall that, that individual needs to obtain a reentry permit in order to be able to come back into Thailand and take back up that extension status. So that's a reentry permit. What's a certificate of entry? A certificate of entry, these were promulgated under back in March of 2020 after the emergency decree came into effect in the response to COVID-19. And long story short, a reentry per, excuse me, a certificate of entry, it's issued generally either simultaneously with a visa or it is issued at the behest of an applicant who already has a valid visa to Thailand, but they need to enter Thailand. It's basically an extra check, extra sort of protocol, wherein the embassy issuing the certificate of entry first has to check with Ministry of Foreign Affairs here in Bangkok, get the okay to issue that person a certificate of entry, and then turn around and allow that person to actually physically come to Thailand. We've made videos on this channel about certificates of entry directly, and as noted in one video particularly, where we actually show an example certificate of entry, they are issued with a one day validity. So it's like hitting a bullseye. You have to deal with your travel arrangements. So as you arrive on that exact day, or you can really run into problems logistically being able to enter Thailand. But let's understand, these are not the same thing. And a lot of people get these conflated. A reentry permit merely under current circumstances, I hesitate to use the word merely and believe me, I understand the frustration with this. This is like one piece of bureaucracy accreted on top of another piece of bureaucracy. It's like, it's like the reentry permit is kind of a bureaucratic invention on top of the extension stamp. So if the extension stamp is the ice cream, then the reentry permit is the whipped cream. And now we've got the certificate of entry is sort of the cherry on top of this whole Sunday, if you will. But long story short, they're not the same. They're not the same document. One needs a certificate of entry if they're leaving Thailand in which to maintain the current status they have in Thailand. And then once they're trying to come back, at least as long as the current regime is in place, and we're certainly hoping this ends sooner rather than later, but as long as this is the current situation, this is what we have to deal with. The, if that individual wants to come back to Thailand, notwithstanding the fact they have a reentry permit, they also need to get a certificate of entry in order to return. So they're two different documents, they have two different functions, and for those who are wishing to maintain their long-term status in Thailand, you need to be aware of how these two documents operate and be able to deal with both of them, notwithstanding the fact that it is kind of a bureaucratic headache. 